It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of the Strauss Curvy Delaphine Imperial Stout coming in at 11% ABV. Now I nearly called this beer Truth Can Set You Free. Uh, but it's not called that. I think that's just some artwork that's been placed on the label. So I've been on Rape Beer and they've called this beer the Strauss Curvy Delaphine. It's an Imperial Stout 11% as I mentioned. It is the 2012 version. Now, what, why I'm mentioning that, let me just show you, is again on Rape Beer. They're saying on Rape Beer that the pre-2014 version was 13% and the, uh, the 2014 and after version was 11%. So we have a vintage 2012 and it's 11%. So somebody's got their wires crossed a little bit there, but we got a gold cap on this one. Um, I've never had a Belgian Russian Imperial Stout. Very interesting. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Oh, blimey, look at this. My goodness me. Look at the colour of that head. That is absolutely mesmerising. I'm a little bit sad at this stage that the the head is dissipating as quickly as it is because the look of that head suggests to me that this beer has got a cracking, creamy, big, filled mouthfeel. So 11% ABV, a jet black beer in a glass, nice levels of carbonation. I was indeed talking about beers of Europe just a, mo just a moment ago. They're the largest online beer store in the UK. Well, with great beers like this, um, great beers from Belgium, Germany, France, because yeah, we got some French beer. We've had some Lithuanian beer, some Brazilian beer, some Australian beer, British, American craft beer, amazing stuff. So if you've been on holiday, you've been away working, and you want to try some of that stuff you were drinking while you were away, or while you were away, then check out beersofeurope.co.uk. They could very well have it. Right, I've got to get my nose into this wonderful looking Jack Black beer. Cheers. <sighs> Blimey. That is just wonderful. Just one word. Wonderful. There's a lot of raisin. It's a tiny little bit of black currant. Tobacco smoke. Pipe tobacco smoke. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Lots of licorice. Little bit of aniseed. Vanilla. It just smells so rich and fruity and wonderful. And I've got to this stage in reviewing beer now where I where I kind of know where this is going. So, um, cheers. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness me. Honestly, every time I review a beer as good as this, my brain is asking me, where do I start with this? This is just unbelievably complex. And if you notice, it's a little bit of, it's one of my characteristics that when I review an amazing beer, I put it down. I think I just put it down out of the respect of the beer, just in case I drop it. But 
unbelievable. It's exactly what I said in the aroma, when I spoke about the aroma, and it has it in the taste. There's lots of vanilla, it's got an oaky feel, there's tobacco smoke, it's vinous, it's plummy, there's lots of licorice in there, aniseed, there's chocolate, there's coffee, there's caramel. I mean, really? How does a beer fit all of these flavours in and make it work? It's not that the beer fits all of them flavours in. Let me re-quote that a little bit. This is beer. And this is what beer produces naturally. With some malt, some water, some hops, some yeast and some water. It's phenomenal what you can do with those few ingredients. Now, there is one small thing that I would change about this beer. I would look, whatever yeast strain they used in this beer, it's made the beer, oh hang on, hold on. Let me carry on with that thought and let me correct myself. What I was going to say was it's made the beer very carbonated and very kind of almost viciously carbonated on the tongue. It fizzes away like one of them kind of them, them little spaceships you put on your tongue. But then when I was saying that I stopped myself and I remembered that Belgian beers are naturally carbonated this way anyway. So Rather than follow the traditional Russian Imperial Stout style that you get from, I call them the Norwegian style Russian Imperial Stouts. No, I don't. I call them the Scandinavian style Russian Imperial Stouts, where they're big and thick and viscous like this with that lovely head. This is Belgium's take on it. So I need to respect that. I need to respect that thought that if you have a triple or a double or a quadruple, you're going to get that big bold, natural, big carbonation. So, so I'm going to change nothing in my thoughts on that. It might not be for me. That level of carbonation in a Russian Imperial style may not be for me, but I must respect Belgium tradition. So a recap on the flavours then. It's a lovely oaky, woody, chocolatey, coffee, caramel, espresso coffee, sweet caramel, lots of vanilla, a fig, a plum, some licorice, some aniseed, some tobacco smoke. I could go on and on on and on about this beer, but I must rate it. So I suppose if I'm honest, for me personally, I'd probably do this with the beer after I've reviewed it and I would shake out all of that natural carbonation and I would bring that down a level. That would then for me, uh, for my personal taste, you might like it. So. This is up to you. I would shake out all of that carbonation so you've got that lovely thick, gloopy, chocolatey coffee caramel flavour in the beer. Me personally, I think that kind of big violent carbonation is not for me, but I would understand if it was for you. As I mentioned earlier, Belgium traditional beers are very kind of carbonated and fizzy. Um, naturally carbonated. I shouldn't use the word fizzy, but I am. Um, rating, let's get it done. It's a wonderful beer. An absolutely astounding beer in that. 
Um, yeah. Please check out Delaphine or, or, or Strauss Curvy Delaphine Imperial Stout. For me, this beer is an undoubting 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me, Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.